Hi, students. We are here today with a reading lesson to go along with week three of our summer distance English class for the summer of 2020. This reading is to go along with the afternoon class homework packet. Don't worry if you don't have the packet. Follow along at home. Write down any new vocabulary into your notebook. Be sure to always put that vocabulary into a sentence so that you can practice and practice and practice that vocabulary in context. Use your mobile device to record yourself pronouncing any difficult vocabulary that is new for you. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you get a notification as soon as we have a new lesson available on our classroom channel. Let's jump right into this story, and I think that you are going to really enjoy this story because I think you will feel a strong connection to the author. It says this third culture kid can choose who she wants to be. No, but where are you really from? This question makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Like many third culture kids, or TCKs, I panic. I wonder if the question is asking about where I was born, or where I am living now, or where my parents live. The term third culture kid comes from American professor Ruth Hill Usim. TCKs are children who spent much of their early lives outside of their parents' culture. People like that often mix their parents' culture with a new one. They create a third culture of their own. Depending on the person and situation, I have different answers to the question of where I am from. Like many other TCKs, I'll change my story as I go and not say the whole truth. Sometimes I'll give the quick answer. I'm from Finland, a country in Europe, and Senegal, a country in Africa. Other times, I'll tell the whole story. I was born in Helsinki, Finland, then moved to Luxembourg, then to Brussels in Belgium, and finally to London, England. Or I might say that my mom is from Finland, my dad is from Senegal, and my home is in England now. Living like this sometimes makes me feel free. I feel as though I am wearing different masks. I am always able to make a new version of myself. But this is also a problem. Who am I really? Which of these masks is the true me? Where do I belong? Feeling like an outsider. In my case, it is even harder to answer these questions. I'm biracial, which means I am two races. I was born in Finland, but I don't look like most Finnish people. I've never lived in Senegal, so I feel strange saying I'm from there. I don't feel very Finnish either since I've lived outside Finland for most of my life. Both Finland and Senegal are countries where I have family and are places that I visit every few years. I do often miss these places, but when I'm actually there, I feel out of place like an outsider. So where is home? Home is somewhere you truly belong. But like many other TCKs, I never quite feel at home anywhere. I am a strange mix. Sometimes I feel as if I'll never find that one place where I totally belong. I just feel lucky that I could experience so many cultures. Sometimes I don't like that I have to give complicated answers to what sounds like simple questions. At other times, it doesn't bother me at all. I watch my nieces and nephews growing up with many cultures. I cannot help but feel proud. It is an amazing opportunity. They get to speak so many languages and see so many countries. More or less a citizen of the world. Being rootless has given me a sense of freedom. I feel grateful for the experiences I've had and I am proud to feel like a citizen of the world. I feel at home anywhere. At the same time, my home is nowhere. I love being able to choose who I want to be. 
My masks are all a part of who I am. I've slowly built myself up as a collection of pieces from different cultures. Being rootless doesn't mean I don't belong anywhere. It means I choose to belong to more than one place. How was this story for you? Did you find any new vocabulary? Did you feel a connection to the writer, to the author, thinking about your own feelings, living in a new culture, or maybe the feelings as you watch your children who are growing up, mixing two cultures together? As always, post any new vocabulary in sentences in the comments under the video. Until next time, students. Bye.